The Washington Post has an article where they survey Americans to try to figure out what are the most common fears and phobias that people have. The number one answer was the fear of public speaking. Not the fear of spiders, not the fear of heights, not the fear of claustrophobia, the fear of standing in front of a group of people and talking. That was the number one fear in America. Today, I want to give you just a few pieces of advice to help you with your communication skills. Coming up. What's up, everyone? My name is Reynaldo Ramos with Vine Media. We love to help people get connected to the Vine. That is Jesus. One of the things that I had the pleasure of walking into as me and my wife were pastoring with the youth and with young adults and with a uh, congregation was the platform ministry, whether that was preaching or giving announcements or doing sacraments such as the Holy Communion or baptizing people or presenting babies, all these other things, doing Bible studies. If you're in ministry, communication and communicating with a group of people is really, really important. If you're in leadership, communication and communicating with a group of people is really, really important. But this is also important even beyond ministry, whether you're in school, whether you're in a club, whether you're in uh, at work, whether you're a business person, whatever it is, being able to speak in front of people is a skill that we should all have. And so I know it's one of the biggest fears that people have, but we need to get past it. Part of it is overthinking the process. And now there are a lot of videos online about how to be a better communicator, how to be a better preacher, all those things. I've read books. I've loved, I love preaching and all this stuff. We've even made videos here at Vine Media to help with all this. But today I want to give you three things that you can remember to help you drive your communication. And when you drive the communication and understand the foundation behind what you are trying to say, it helps, it helps you better communicate what it is you're trying to communicate. And so this is really simple and I've adapted this from other stuff. And I'm going to give you the three C's of communication. Ready? Number one is your content. What is it you are trying to say? Far too many people fill what they're trying to say with so much more fluff and the extra stuff. Cut it down and in a sentence, try to figure out what it is you are trying to communicate. Whether it's a small 30 second or one minute announcement or a 45 minute or one hour presentation. Try to hone it down to a sentence or two that helps you better focus on what you want to say and help you concentrate. It also helps the listener to understand what it is you are trying to communicate. So the number one C is your content. Number two is clarity. You want to make sure that you are clear about what you are saying. Again, extra stuff, extra info, extra fluff that doesn't make it more clear. I was usually when I was training to, to preach, for instance, three point sermons was always the major thing. Now, I have nothing against three point sermons. I'll probably still do that uh, every once in a while. But the reality is one point should be enough. You shouldn't have to oversaturate. So be clear about what you are trying to say. The third C to help you better communicate is conviction. And here's the question behind this C. What do you want people to feel? This is important because this is your why. Why are you trying to communicate what you're trying to communicate? So whether it's in a Bible study or an announcement or presentation at work, what do you want people to feel? What do you want people to walk away feeling? People will often forget what you say, 
but they will remember how you made them feel. So conviction is really, really important when communicating. Well, there you have it. Really quick and easy. Whatever it is that you find yourself in, communication and growing in how to communicate and publicly speak in front of people is really, really important. So invest in yourself Grow in that. Again, whether it's preaching, whether it's Bible study announcement or presentation or speech for school, whatever it is, grow in your communication and remember the three C's. Content, clarity, conviction, and remember in all of life, stay connected to the vine. That is Jesus. And we will see you next time.